Hello everyone and welcome back to our DAX for Beginners series. My name is Brad and in today's video we'll be diving into some of the filter functions including filter, all, all selected, and calculate. These are going to be critical when you need to refine, filter, or shape the data you're analyzing. All right, let's take a look. The filter function is incredibly versatile and can be used to create filtered versions of tables for focused analysis or specific reporting needs. This means we can isolate specific data subsets from our larger data set. Let's say we would like to have a tab in our report that only reflects metrics around our highest margin sales. We'll put that threshold at 100,000 and we'll use our profit calculated column as the filter. The first thing we'll do is go up to our modeling tab and click on new table. We'll call this table something like high margin transactions and call the filter function. We'll then reference our financials table and only include records where profit is greater than or equal to 100,000. This creates our new table with rows that only meet our profit definition. And we can see that if we add in a new table visual, we'll add in country product, our dates, and our profit field. We can sort the profit column here. And if we scroll down, you can see that none of the values in this column are below 100,000. So next up is the all function, which removes filters from a column or table and returns all of the values, regardless of current filters or slicers in the report. Now this will be helpful when we want to display totals or grand measures that are not affected by the user making selections in the report. As an example, let's create a measure that calculates total sales across all countries, even if a country filter is applied. Let's call this total sales all countries. So here, the all financials country part of the DAX is removing any filters on the country column, ensuring that the sales calculation sums all sales across every country, regardless of what the user has selected. All right, so let's illustrate this by pulling this new measure into our canvas. And we'll change our units here so we get the full number. And then let's also just pull in the sum of sales as well. Should be exactly the same. And we'll change our units here as well. All right, and finally, let's add in a country slicer make our selections. There we go. So you can see when we start making our slicer selections here, that this sum of sales that we just pulled from our financials data set is updating to reflect our selection here in our slicer, but our measure that is summing up sales across all countries is not adjusting. That's because, because of our all function, uh, it's not taking into account these uh, slicer level or filter level um, selections. Another use case here for all could be when we need to calculate a total that should not be affected by user-driven filters. Like when we want to calculate market share for each country and we want the denominator to be total sales across all countries. I'll show you what I mean here. First, we want to calculate the total sales across the entire data set ignoring any filters that would be applied. So let's go ahead and create our measure. Call it something like total sales all. So we've called calculate and then sum to calculate the total sales. The all function referencing our country field is going to remove any filters on that field, ensuring the calculating uh, considers all countries regardless of slicers or visuals. Now let's go ahead and create our measure for market share for each country. So if we step in here, the sum function calculates the sales for the current country per the filter context. The total sales all function is the measure we created earlier that represents the total sales across all countries, which is our denominator. 
And of course, we're dividing here and using the divide function to avoid errors if our total sales all is zero. So let's rearrange a little bit here and create our table visual, pull in country, sales, and then our market share measure. And let's go ahead and update our market share to be percentage. Okay, and we've got our country filter here. So you see when we make a selection that our uh, market share value carries over to the selection. So for France at 20.51%, when we make that selection, we see the market share continue to reflect France's share of the entirety of all the countries. It doesn't change to 100% just based on um, our slicer selection in the visual here. Now, let me show you why this market share measure is necessary for this kind of analysis. You may know that you can pull in another sales column here and choose to show it as a percentage of the grand total. So let's do that. And if I right click and go down here, show value as percent of grand total. And so that gives us the same values as our market share field. However, as soon as we start applying filters via the slicer, our context will get skewed. And now when we make the selection to France, we see that uh, we have 100% here um, instead of our, our market share percentage. And to be clear, this isn't an error. The visual and this new column are behaving in the way we told it to, but to get the correct ratio for market share, we need to utilize the all function. And in fact, we can elect to have this kind of metric in our visual through the use of a measure utilizing the all selected function. The all selected function returns all values of a table or column that are visible based on the current selection. It keeps filters from slicers, but not from the table context. This function is often used in dynamic calculations that respect user selections in slicers, but ignore row context. So the first thing we need to do is create a measure that sums up all of our sales. And we've gone ahead and done that here. So all sales is just the sum of our sales column. Now the all selected measure we are going to create will look like this. Let's go ahead and add this new measure to our table here. All right, and now as we make our selections in the slicer, you can see that uh, that new measure updates and uh, mimics this uh, percent grand total sum of sales column that we pulled in earlier. Now we've been using calculate throughout most of this video, but we haven't really discussed what it does. And calculate is maybe the most important function in DAX and its countless applications are way beyond the scope of this video. But in a nutshell, Calculate is used to modify the context of a calculation and allows us to apply filters, override existing filters, or change the current row context. For example, if we wanted to create a measure that calculates total profit, but only for the country of Germany, no matter which filters are applied, we can do that. Our syntax for the calculate function is an expression followed by filters. In this measure, calculate is performing the sum expression on our profit field, but applying a filter to restrict the calculation to rows where country equals Germany. This will give us the total profit for Germany, regardless of any other filters or slicers applied to this report. Now we can see this in action if we pull in this measure and profit measure as well. And you'll notice as we make selections in our slicer here that the sum of profit visual here updates, but our Germany profit does not update because of course it's only reflecting the profit from Germany. And if we make the Germany selection in our slicer, we can see that the two of these actually match. So what we're seeing here is that the calculate measure that we built stays static because it only reflects the profit for Germany and ignores the filter selections. So this can be helpful if you are wanting to display static categorical totals in a report that still allows the user to make filter selections on other visuals. So to recap, we covered the filter, all, 
all selected and calculate functions today. These filter functions allow you to control and refine your data to answer specific business questions. Whether you need to calculate totals, apply dynamic filters, or override existing filters, these functions are powerful tools. We'll stop there for now, but if you have any questions about this content or would like the BIX team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos, and thanks for watching.